What is going on, NCK? That's the Retro Team here, and welcome back to the Never Ending series. I know this series has been on hold for quite a long time, and that'll be explained in a bit. And uh, actually, a lot of things have been on hold for a long time, but as I said, everything will be explained in a bit. But regardless of uh, what has happened, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, because Merry Christmas! If you celebrate Christmas, of course. But if you don't, still Merry Christmas to you! Um, I... A lot of things uh, kind of so happened to run into each other when I was planning on making this video. And as you can tell by the title, there's a, a, lot, oops, there's a lot going on at once here in this video. We got the 500th video, so which is awesome. All these are awesome. <laughs> you, got the, you got the 500th video for the channel. Uh, you got the 100th episode of Never Ending Series. And how that happened is I reached uh, video 99, like... 478 or something like that amount of videos and I uh I said okay well you know if I'm already at that much I might as well just go all out and have my 500th video be when I episode 100 but as time went on I noticed that oh well wait a minute my three year anniversary is coming up for the channel but unfortunately due to an injury I suffered in October uh that has been keeping me very busy recently unfortunately so I was kind of forced to step back and kind of take a break from this whole thing, unfortunately, which I hated, but, you know, it is what it is, and then that forced the anniversary to go a bit onward, so when it went onward and past what the three anniversary actually was, which would be December 1st, I said, okay, you know what, why don't I just have the anniversary, like, a random video, but due to an unforeseen event that recently happened, nothing terrible, but something that really took up time, I was only able to start really recording again around the 11th, maybe? And then, when I got really close to my 500th, I said, Alright, let's just make the 500th video as a Christmas special. And then I realized, well, wait a minute. We got the Christmas special, which will end up being the 500th video, which will end up being the unofficial slash official three-year anniversary for the channel, which will also be episode 100 of Minecraft, or never any series. So, hey... I don't know, it all just so happened to work out like that, I swear to you this wasn't planned until like, I don't know, a week ago, and I hope it's Christmas, I'm recording this a bit early because I want to really see if I can edit heavily, and if not, if it's just regularly edited video, then sorry, but I want to make sure that I have this ready for you guys, so uh, Merry Christmas, hopefully it's Christmas when I upload this, but as you saw up there, there was a, uh, you know, a new thing that I built, and this is all in survival by the way, except for I think one thing. But I built, yeah, this cave. I built all this in survival, and it's, I don't know. It was interesting, to say the least. Uh, there's a cave. You hear a zombie. And as I said, the sense that this is the, a special, I went around the map, I suppose you could say, our, our houses. And I noticed that we had a lot of things. I mean, a lot of things that we never actually did anything with. So... I took some armor, which were all uh, enchanted. With the helmet has blast protection, I think four, aqua infinity one, respiration or respiration three, which now two of those things I won't be using. Protection three for the chest plate, protection three for the legs, and feather falling and fire protection. Fe feather falling four and fire protection three. Now for the bow, I got punch and power. Along with two stacks of arrows. If you could tell what I'm going to be doing this episode. Uh, hats off to you. I mean, it's not exactly the hardest thing to figure out. But I say that's not exactly the easiest thing to figure out either. So, yeah. There's there's that. If you could figure it out, I don't want to make you feel bad. Because, I mean, I just thought of this when I went to record. Uh, so, we got our armor. We got our weapon. But we're going to get another weapon. Now, as you see, this was, like I said, it was all built in survival. And it took a, it's, <laughs> it took a long time. I just... I mean, if you look back at my most recent, ooh, yeah, why not? If I, if you look back at my most recent, uh, recently uploaded video, it was like I don't even know, like maybe a month ago. I hate saying that, but it's true, unfortunately. Ah, shoot, I didn't think about this. Whew, all right. <laughs> um, so I've had a lot of time to prepare for this, and in between of recording Night Squad with my friend Shrewd, <laughs> which you can see in the channel if you go look. Uh, I started to do this off the record, really, and I, I kind of, I don't know where I really decided to, 
I don't know. Like, what I'm trying to say is, my friend Corey, uh, who used he used to be on this channel all the time between zombies, Minecraft, Call of Duty. Like, he would always be in the, uh, the channel. But when the new generation of consoles came out, yeah, it's been around that long. Um, he kind of chose PS4 over Xbox 360. So, you know, or Xbox One. And since he chose PS4, once he got it, he stopped playing 360. And I, I don't, I don't know. It's unfortunate, but those things happen. So I'm just using his armor and stuff. It, it's time to move on. Move on from the past. But I decided to do the, uh, the, the end. And... I don't know how this is going to go. We had a lot of splash potions of healing. I mean, he had, for some reason, a sharpness of, uh, sort of sharpness. Um, it's just all this stuff. It's crazy that we had. So I'm going to be using this, along with splash potions of healing, which I'll organize in a second. Two ender pearls and an eye of ender, along with a bunch of sacks of blocks. I forgot the pickaxe. That's right, we can uh, walk and talk. So, between the splash potions of healing, the sword that he had, and the armor, I said, you know, I have yet to actually go to the end and fight the Ender Dragon, at least in survival. Like, I fought him once in creative, but, you know, that doesn't really count for anything. So, I said, you know, if it's going to be a 100th video special, I need to do something special for it. Then, since it's all four specials at once, I really want to do something special for it. So, I'm going to fight the end. Now, this is called the Never Running Series. And just because I'm fighting the end and the Ender Dragon doesn't mean that it's going to be the end of the series. It, it, the series will be going on. My recording schedule should slowly get back to normal. Uh, like I said, I suffered an injury not too long ago. And I have been doing a bunch of stuff for that. So, hopefully, my recording schedule goes back slightly normal. Um, otherwise, I, I really don't know. <laughs> we'll see. That's all in the future. But, it says that this is the 500 video special. I don't want to keep this all central focused on Minecraft. So, I'm going to be putting in the description below, there will be my top 10 favorite videos that I've done on this channel ever since it's been around. Like, ever since I created this channel, my top 10 favorite videos I've created, whether it be by myself... Whether it be with a friend of mine, it doesn't matter. Uh, they'll be my top 10 favorite videos, and I hope you guys decide to take a look at them. Uh, if not, that's perfectly fine. I, it, it's up to you guys. It doesn't really, you know, I mean, it does affect me in a way, but, I mean, you know, if you guys decide, ah, I don't really feel like watching it, I completely understand. I get it. Trust me. <laughs> and uh, hopefully you don't feel bad that you don't want to check it out. I completely understand. If you do want to check it out, and check out any of the videos in the description. I don't know what they all are yet, so I can't really say really what they kind of are. But, uh, if you... Here it is. Ooh, that's almost dead. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Ooh. Ooh, I really should have done this before recording. That's fine. Uh, but if you do want to check them out, though, I'll have the title that I... I'll just copy and paste the title from the... Ooh, right, I know what to do. I will copy and paste the title from the video above the video in the description, and I will the title in the description, and I'll leave a link obviously to the video so you can just watch it to your free will and do whatever you want. Now be warned that there probably are videos down there from before I got the Xbox One. What does that mean? Okay, this is what it means. Since it's before the Xbox One. It's probably before I got stereo sound. Like, you know how right now, if you were to take off one earphone and see how it sounds, it you can hear it. And then the other one, you can hear the same thing. It wasn't always like that on my channel. It used to be where I would set up my... I used to have the Avermeda Game Capture HDC 281 model edition. Not edition, but model. <laughs> and I had to set up where... On Unfortunately, the only the best thing I could do. Wait, where's my anvil? I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember where my anvil is. It's not down there, is it? No. Yes, it is. Is it? No. I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, the mono sound only came after the Xbox One came out, and because it came out after the Xbox One came out, there are going to be a lot of videos before that time. And since there are a lot of videos before that time, there's going to be a lot of mono 
sounding, or no, not even sounding, just is mono videos. So now what mono means, if you don't know, is I know I'm just rambling. Uh, you can probably skip like a minute into the video if you want, like from here, just to check out the fight. If you really want to watch that, but if you don't want to, then hello. Um, but what mono means is that you can only hear one. Oh my god, I did not take the diamond. All right, let me just do this. <laughs> Anyways, so what mono means is that you can only hear the game in this is not what the actual definition is, but. That's, this is basically what it means for me, is that the game sound will be in either the left or right ear, and my voice will be in either left or right. So it's going to be sounding off. It's, it just won't sound right. So be warned that if you're expecting sound quality like this in a video in the description, there is a possibility that it won't be like this. Now, that doesn't mean that that's going to affect the way you wear your headphones, especially if you're on, like, mobile or something. Because if you're on... If you're using headphones, if you're using head, well, I'm glad it'll work. If you're using headphones, then th it should not really be any different than if you weren't. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sorry. I'm too distracted with messing up right now. Anyways, whew, how, how much will that cost? One. All right. Awesome. That's. Those are wooden blocks. You you know what I'm just gonna say? I don't know what's true. I'm just gonna say I don't have a diamond axe, and I'm gonna have to. Well, if I'm gonna do that, then why use? <coughs> oh God! I'm frustrated. It's causing my coughing to act up. If I'm gonna be using an axe, I mean a pickaxe, then why would I be using one blocks when I could just use something else? Like here we go, another stack. I'll trade a stack for that. Uh, I'll trade another stack. For that and uh i'll trade half a stack for a stack i don't really care plus i'll be getting back in when i'm uh chipping don't you dare throw it up where'd it go i didn't mean to hit the x don't oh my god all right just get to the end this is not working out for you death star just get to the end ignore everything else right now Oh my god. I apologize that I'm screwing up so much. It, you have to understand, it has been a long time since I've recorded. And I don't really know... I know what to expect out of this boss battle. But I don't... Oh, fudge you, zombie. I don't really... I've never actually fought him legitimately before. As in, in survival. I've only just ever fought him in creative. And obviously, I, I won when I was in creative. So, I mean, not obviously. Because you can still lose in creative. But I, I did... I did win. You know what? <coughs> Was it Spire Jockey or something? If it's Spire Jockey, I want I want to see this. I think it is Spire Jockey. No, it's not. No, it's not. Get out of there. Curiosity killed the cat. Oh, oh I'm, I'm like Neo from Nature Matrix. I mean, I, I, wait a minute. No, wasn't Neo the guy behind the scenes? I don't know. I haven't watched the Matrix so long. Did I just say Matrix? I haven't watched the Matrix in so long. <laughs> um. Anyways. So, yeah, I don't really remember the characters. Whew. So, in, in a review, there are my top 10 favorite videos in the uh, description below. There are... Fudge you. There are a lot of things going on right now that I can't think about. And trying to organize this. So, yeah, just... I'm going to say all my thank yous at the end. So, you can expect that and you can look forward to that. I think that's everything. I'll trade out two of these for two of these. This is the most effective. Uh, fire resistance. I'll keep it sure. And you know what? Here we go. And then I will put this. Oh, God. Ah oh, yes. It well, would give it back. And then what was I gonna put in here? I was gonna put in the mushrooms. Thank you. Right. Whew. All right. Okay. Everybody, NCK, 100 episodes after constant messing up in the, the video of this event on a video where it is a Christmas special. I'm sorry now. Well, that ruined my epic feeling. Well, let's, let's get it going. Get on. Whoa. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. No. Don't fire at me. Don't fire at me. Don't fire at me. Don't. I, that doesn't help. Just keep going. Keep going. You'll reach it eventually. Keep going. Oh, God. It's only gotten tense. Uh, I don't like the no music. All right. I see, I see you land. Oh, where are you? I know kind of what I'm doing. <laughs> Let that be clear. I'm not... I don't 100% know what I'm doing. Alright, just jump off. Alright, burrow in here. I need to do something. Get in here, get in here, get in here. Uh. Alright, just real quick. Do this, and then do this, do this, do this. Alright. Alright, everybody, let's do this. For the NCK, for the Noble Crusading Knights. Let's do it. Oh, man, I don't like this. That was anticlimactic. Extremely. No! Oh, no! Oh. Oh, what? What was? Huh. All right, all right, just keep going. I don't know what. Oh, fudge me, Enderman. Mm. All right, this seems simple enough. All I know is I have to hit it, which doesn't seem too terrible. All right, just go, 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 go. Wedge yourself in the corner. <coughs> oh God, my throat. All right, I am also mostly basically. <gasps> oh, feather falling. Oh, feather falling, feather falling, feather falling. Oh, never did dig straight down, but I don't care. Drink, eat, whatever that is. <sighs> Regen health. Oh, oh my god. <sighs> All right, I gotta think about this. I gotta think about this. Um, uh, that corner thing worked. Just be care I gotta be quick. I gotta be quick about it. That's that was my downfall right there. I gotta be quick about it. When I destroy it, get up, destroy thing, go back down, start digging. Cause if I keep doing that, I'm gonna run out of blocks. I'm gonna run out of blocks to use. Now, what I'm destroying right now, if you don't know what's happening right now, which I I don't know. <laughs> but if you don't know what's going on right now, I'm destroying the healing stations. So what happens is that whenever I hurt the Ender Dragon and he flies near these healing stations, yeah, I, I def I'll definitely go. Whenever he flies near these healing stations. Uh, he ends up healing his health that I've taken away, so I need to destroy his first in order for him to be unable to regen his health. Uh, yeah, see, I'm running out of blocks so fast. Now, granted, if... Uh, Alright, go, 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 go! Now, granted, uh, if I do end up running out of blocks, I can always just start digging out the, uh, end blocks. I don't know what they're called. I'm just gonna call them end blocks because I don't really care. I love it. Um, I'm just gonna put a couple around, though. Oh, fuck, this thing worked in Enderman. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Alright, keep going, keep going. I just gotta keep going. Oh my god. Whew, this is not easy. This is not as easy as it looks. Alright, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Alright, punch it, punch it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that explosion pushed me right there. Not even the dragon that time. Alright. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Alright, alright, keep going, keep going. Alright, go. Oh my god, this is, all right, this is good, this is good though, this is good, this is good. Because now this is just basically repetition. Oh, I'm gonna have to be such a good shot with my bow and arrow though, and I am, I am, in my friends, in the circle of my friends, I'm basically, unfortunately, known for not being exactly the, the greatest shot with the, <coughs> ah, bow and arrow, sorry. All right, keep going, you know what, just dig, dig down, D dig, 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 ah! oh god. How many have I taken out? I don't even know. And I'm, uh, I should have brought the mushroom so I could make more. You know, I thought about that, but I figured it. Eh. I just figured it. Eh, that, that's about it. Alright. Oh. Oh, dear. Lord. Alright. Come on. Focus, Death Star. Focus. Uh, I don't like that. He's right above me. He's right in, he's in me. All right, go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Why are there cages? Do you really? <coughs> You're hurting my throat. Do you really need cages around these stupid things? Is that honestly necessary? Ah, I knew you were right there. Oh, I think you destroyed some blocks in this whole tunnel of things. Why is this one so high up? Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Uh, so difficult. 
difficult. Alright, no, not difficult. It's just precise. That's the thing. It's very precise. Alright, run. Don't look at the Enderman. Don't look at the Enderman. Don't look at the Enderman. Keep going. Keep going. Use the least amount of blocks as possible. Now, I know I, I do know that I have a plethora of, um... Of these healing, instant healing splash potions, but still, I'd rather really not use them until I really honestly have to. Oh! Oh! Alright, YOLO! I gotta! I gotta! Go, 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 go! Don't hit me! 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 Alright! Destroy these! Destroy these! Alright, good! Good enough! Go, go, go! I'm really running out of blocks for this. It keep getting higher and higher. I feel like they're growing as I do this. Alright, real quick. Eat it. Go. Go! Ah. Alright. On to the next. On to the next. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright. And then. Ah. Just use these. I don't care. Alright, and then. Ah. Ah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's so creepy. Alright, yeah, sure. Relaxing music in the background. That'll help. I actually honestly did forget that I even had this extra stack of nether blocks. Nether, nether brick? Is that what it's called? I don't entirely remember. Alright. Oh, that went too high. That went too high. That went too high. That went too high. Too high, too high, too high, too high. Alright, just hide in here. Go! Oh, God. No! I don't like it. Go, 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 go! I keep forgetting which ones... I'm starting to forget which ones I actually did destroy. Alright, I guess... I think there's nothing up there. I'm, oh! No! <coughs> Use it! Oh, that's it! That's all it does! I, di I didn't mean to do that, but... Sure, why not? Okay. Um... I hope that it just told me about the ender- Oh, wow, okay, that was, that was short. That was nice. I hope- I really do hope that, that only told me about the enderman just because I saw his feet and not his head. Because if it's not his head, I'm- Just look down, look down, look down. Is there anything around this pillar? Yes, there is. Okay, alright. That might have been all of them. Alright, I think it is. I think it was. Here we go! Fudge. Alright, here we go. It's the final countdown. Do -do -do -do. Oh, yeah, alright. Oh, Enderman. Enderman, please. Enderman, please. Please. Don't look at me, Enderman. Oh! Oh! Oh, get hurt! Oh! You're a bad kid! You're ba now, I do have two stacks of arrows, but still might not be enough. <laughs> oh, trick shot! Trick shots for de- Buddy! 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 Uh-oh. Alright, perfect, perfect, perfect. And then, eh! And then, eh! And then, eh! Keep going, keep going, keep going! This actually isn't too bad, it's just repetitive. It seems like my most vulnerable mo moments were- Oh! Oh! Trick shot! It seems like my most vulnerable moments were when I was, um, doing the pillars. I feel like that's supposed to be like that, but I don't know. That's really- Oh, that was bad, that was bad, that was bad. He was even staying still. See what I mean when I say that I was not exactly the best with the bow and arrow? Oh, trick shots for days. Trick shots for days. Trick shots for days. Okay. Oh, trick shots! Trick shot! Alright, he's almost at half. He's almost at half. How's my arrow supply doing? Alright, he's about a second and a half to get him halfway. That's not bad. That's not bad. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me. Yeah, that's right. Oh, this is a good one. Good one. That was good. That was good. Oh, if I was a little higher on that. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel like I should just be waiting for him when he stops flying, but I don't know. I don't know. Yes! Oh, I should've brought a piston! Oh, I should've done that! Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Trick shot! Oh, trick shot! <laughs> I would try to- Oh! Righty then, buckaroo. That's far enough with your shenanigans. Shenanigans. Yep, there you go. Yep, there you go. Yep, there you go. Yep, there you go. Yeah, it's not doing that much anymore. I might have to... Hopefully it doesn't force me to go to the sword, because I don't really feel safe if I were to do that. <coughs> oh, missed. 
And hopefully I don't end up missing out on arrows just because I'm trying to do epic trick shots. Even though they are pretty epic. I mean, you gotta admit, they are fairly pretty epic. Oh, no. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, no. Only I can shoot and hit you. Oh, pretty okay. Never mind. Sorry, I'm sorry. Come on, come on, come on. Get back around. How am I doing? All right, sack left, sack left. I can do this, I can do this. Come on, Desso, focus, focus. Ooh, ooh, you're, you're getting lazy now, aren't you? Oh my god, that is, that is menacing. That is, oh my, ah, uh, that is loud. That is very loud. Oh, oh, you got him, you got him, you got him, you got him. Die. Oh my god. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my good Lord. Oh, wow. Oh, man. All right. Whew. That was loud. Um... Oh, man. All right. Well, then. That was the end. <laughs> uh, probably a bit. Oh, the armor did nothing for me. <laughs> I feel like the armor did nothing for me. All right. Well, that was the end of uh, Minecraft, I guess. Let's just let's just go. Oh, oh, my head is spinning. Holy cow. Whew. 100 episodes later. 500 videos. Christmas Day. Three years later. We reached the end of Minecraft. I see the player you mean. That, oh, okay. I can make it go faster. Death Star 13? Yes. Take care. It has reached a higher level now. It can read our thoughts. That doesn't matter. It thinks we are part of the game. I like this player. It played well. It did not give up. It is reading our thoughts as though they were words on a screen. That is how it chooses to imagine many things. When it is deep in the dream of a game. <clears throat> words make a wonderful interface. Very flexible. And less, tire less terrifying than staring at the reality behind the screen. They used to hear voices. Before players could read, back in the days when those who did not play called the players witches and warlocks, and players dreamed they flew through the air on sticks powered by demons. What did this player dream? This player dreamed of sunlight and trees, of fire and water. It dreamed, it created, and it dreamed it destroyed. It dreamed it hunted, and it was hunted. It dreamed of shelter. <laughs> the original interface, a million years ago, a million years old, and it still works. But what true structure does this player create, and the reality behind the screen? It worked with a million others to sculpt a true world in a fold of the wajib, and create a for It cannot read that. It cannot read that. No. It has not yet achieved the highest level. That. It must achieve in the long dream of life, not the short dream of a game. Does it know that we love it, that the universe is kind? Sometimes, though the noise of its thoughts, it hears the universe, yes. But there are times when it is sad, in the long dream. It creates worlds that have no summer, and it shivers under a black sun, and it takes its sad creation for reality. To cure it of sorrow would destroy it. The sorrow is part of its own private task. <clears throat> we cannot interface. Sometimes when they are deep in dreams, I want to tell them. They are building true worlds in reality. Sometimes I want to tell them of their importance to the universe. Sometimes when they have not made up a true connection in a while, I want to help them to speak in the world they fear. 
It reads our thoughts. Sometimes I do not care. Sometimes I wish to tell them. This world you take for truth is merely ash. It's the ash. I wish to tell them that they are ash. And they are ash. They see so little of reality in their long dream. And yet to play the game. But it would be so easy to tell them. Too strong for this dream. To tell them how to live is to prevent them from living. I will not tell the player how to live. The player is growing restless. I will tell the player a story. But not the, but not the truth. No. A story that contains the truth safely. In a, cha in a cage of words. Not the naked truth that can burn over any distance. Give it a body again. Yes. Player. Use its name. Death Star 13. Player of games. Good. Or rather, NCK. Player of games. Take a breath now. Take another. Feel air in your lungs. Let your limbs return. Yes. Move your fingers. Have a body again under gravity in air. Respawn in the long dream. There you are, your body touching the universe again at every point, as though you were separate things. As though we were separate things. Who are we? Once we were called the spirit of the mountain. Father, sun, mother, moon, ancestral spirits, animal spirits, jinn, ghosts, the green man, then gods, demons, angels, poltergeists, aliens, extraterrestrials, leptons, quarks. The words change. We do not change. We are the universe. We are everything you think isn't you. You are looking at us now, through your, though your, through your skin and your eyes. And why does the universe touch your skin? And throw light on you. To see you, player. To know you. And to be known. I shall tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a player. The player was you. The NCK. Sometimes, it thought itself human on the thin crust of a spinning globe of molten rock. The ball of molten rock circled a ball of blazing gas that was 330,000 degree... Uh, 30,000 times more massive than it. They were so far apart that light took eight minutes to cross the gap. The light was information from a star and it could burn your skin from 150 million kilometers away. Sometimes a player dreamed it was a miner on the surface of a world that was flat and infinite. The sun was a square of white. The days were short. There was much to do and death was a temporary inconvenience. Sometimes a player dreamed it was lost in a story. Sometimes a player dreamed it was other things in other places. Sometimes very beautiful. Indeed. Sometimes a player woke from one dream into another, then woke up from that into a third. Sometimes a player dreamed it watched words on a screen. Let's go back. The atoms. No! No! I, that was getting deep! No! Xbox, watch it! No! No! No, stop listening! No! 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 That was getting deep! That was getting deep! Ah! 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 <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Come on. That was getting deep. Ah. Oh. Dumb Xbox. Stupid connect. Well, there's some comic relief. I you stupid. <sighs> Man. I was enjoying that, you know. I was having fun. I was having a good time. Ugh. Man. Come on. I... 
I, I don't. Come on. All right. I know how to fix this. Hold one second. All right. I'm in the YouTube app now, and I'm not going to say that line right there, the, that one. So I'm just going to keep going. <coughs> All right. <clears throat> the atoms of the player were scattered in the grass, in the rivers, in the air, in the ground. A woman gathered the atoms. She drank and ate and inhaled, and the woman assembled the player in her body. And the player awoke from the warm, dark world of his mother's body into the long dream. And the player was a new story. Never told before, written in letters of DNA, and the player was a new program, never run before, generated by a source code of a billion years old, and then the player was a new human and alive, never before, but nothing of milk and love. You are the player, the story, the program, this human. Oh, for God's sake, it's fine. <laughs> uh, the story, the program, the human, made from nothing but milk and love. Let's go further back. The seven billion, billion, billion atoms of the player's body were created, long before this game, in the heart of a star... So the player too is informed from is it is information from a star, and the player moves through a story which is a forest of information planted by a man called, uh, what? Julian. Okay, on a flat, infinite world created by a man named Marcus that exists. Ah, uh, okay, that exists inside a small private world created by the player who inhabits a universe created by. Shush. Sometimes a player created a small private world that was soft and warm and simple, sometimes hard and cold and complicated. Sometimes it built a model of the universe in its head, flecks of energy moving through vast empty space. Sometimes it called those flecks electro electrons and protons. Sometimes it called them planets and stars. Sometimes it believed it was in a universe that was made of energy, that was made of offs and ons, zeros and ones, lines of code. Sometimes it believed it was playing a game. Sometimes it believed it was reading words on a screen. You are the player reading words. Shush. Sometimes a player read lines of code on a screen. Decoded them into words, decoded words into meaning, decoded meaning into feelings, emotions, theories, ideas, and the players started to breathe faster and deeper and realized it was alive, it was alive. Those thousand deaths had not been real. The player was alive. You, you, you are alive. And sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken to it through the sunlight that came through the shuffling leaves of summer trees. And sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken to it through the light that fell from the crisp night sky of winter, where a fleck of light in the corner of the player's eye might be a star, a million times as massive as the sun, boiling its planets into plasma in order to be visible for a moment to the player, Walking home, not at the far side of the universe, suddenly smelling food, almost at the familiar door, and about to dream again. And sometimes a player believed the universe had spoken to it through zeros and ones, through the electricity of the world, through the scrolling words on a screen at the end of a dream. And the universe said, I love you. And the universe said, you have played the game well. And the universe said, everything you need is within you. And the universe said you are stronger than you know. And the universe said you are the daylight. And the universe said you are the night. And the universe said the darkness you fight is within you. And the universe said the light you seek is within you. And the universe said you are not alone. And the universe said you are not separate from every other thing. And the universe said you are the universe tasting itself, talking to itself, reading its own code. And the universe said, I love you because you are love. And the game was over and the player woke up from the dream. And the player began a new dream. And the player dreamed again. Dreamed better and the player was the universe. And the player was love. You are the player. Wake up. Is there anything else? And then the actual credits. Alright, so... I'm gonna leave a link to this guy's video, this same video. 20 years, what, what, what is this? 20, uh, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than the ones you did do. So throw off the bow lines, set, uh, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover, Mark Twain. That's pretty cool. Uh, alright, so... 
before I think, I'm going to leave a video, uh, link in the description to that guy's video. <laughs> I'm sorry about all this confusion. Oh my god, that stunk. Stupid Xbox. You can't say the X word. Alright. They always say that there are multiple things you can't talk about in public and really to strangers and friends even. Religion, politics, I say music, but now, we're universally, anyone who plays a Microsoft console will understand you can't say the X word. The four letter word. The X-B-O-X -X word. Because apparently, whenever you say something that even resembles it, such as let us whatever is said, I'm not even gonna try it. It says, Oh, that was mean. Go B A C K. And let's go B A C K. <sighs> Sorry about the interruption. Well, anyways, guys, <laughs> um, I don't really know what else to do here. Uh, in the next video of Never Running Series, I'm gonna start work on the inside of this house. I'm gonna rearrange everything. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is a nice memory. Uh, it's nice to see that this is how big the house used to be. And in, like, one episode, thanks to the work of many people, it went from, like, I don't even know. I could probably count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by, I don't even know. Like, I don't know, maybe 12 wide. 12, eight by 12 to... However big this is, I don't even know. I, I'm pretty sure it's an even square. So I'm going to end up rearranging this place. I'm going to uh, maybe add a second floor. That'll probably be a decoration room or something. I don't know. I plan on doing a lot more of this home, though. And uh, I don't know what to say other than thank you. <laughs> I mean, I <laughs> like, thank you guys in general. Like, I know... Alright, I... I see a lot of these YouTubers, and they always say that, huh, they always say that they, they're not a huge fan of Milestones, and I, I get it, like, I understand why, I mean, it's, Milestones aren't that huge in the long run, I mean, what, what, what what's the big thing that could happen, the person could, I don't know, I'm gonna put my troll down, the person could be having a 100th episode of uh, or rather, like, say, uh, a thousandth episode of a series. Just say. And they'll probably say, well, alright, it's cool, but nothing to dwell on. I don't know if it's because of who I am, or because the fact that there are four specials going on in this one video that are kind of... It hits me home, but, like, I started this channel back in 2012. I'm gonna spiel on, so if you guys saw the video, thank you guys for watching, you can end it here. Uh, but for those of you that want to stay and kind of listen to me, welcome. Uh, you're, you're, or, or, or rather, you're welcome to... I'm just going to spiel on a bit. Uh, so if you guys are leaving, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. I promise that. Now for those of you that are staying, uh, you get to hear me spiel on a bit. Which I can't imagine many people will. But if you will, I'll we I'll have you guys say in the comments uh, a, 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 just a thing. Just to let me know if you guys stay to the very end. Uh, then again, you could always just skip to that part, I guess. Well, regardless. So... <laughs> um, anyways, so, when I started this channel back in, <coughs> excuse me, back in 2012, I didn't know what I was doing. Back then, I was watching people who aren't even that, like, really popular anymore. I mean, they get certainly rose in popularity, but I mean, nowadays you have people, the, the three, I call them the titans of YouTube. You have Markiplier, PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye. Now, of course, you have people like CNNers and... Uh, people like those who everyone kind of knows about, but you can't exactly have day-to-day -day conversations about the recent video as easily as you can, especially about, like, Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. Um, but when I started, the big people were, <laughs> and I know it was only three years ago, so I, and I feel like I'm talking like an old person, but when I started, I was, like, the big people, at least the people I was watching, were, uh, XX, Sly Fox Town XX, you had Chilled Chaos, who certainly is uh, still around, so is in Sly Fox. Yeah, the creatures. <laughs> when I started, I started right after Gassy Mexican uh, had an issue with the creatures. And if you don't know who Gassy Mexican is, that's fine. But Gassy Mexican was, used to be part of this group called Creatures. And he, there was an issue, and I, I, don't, I barely remember it. But all I know is he's no longer part of Creatures. But that was like, I want to say almost four years ago, and I was watching them. Like, those were the pe kind of people I was watching when I started doing YouTube. Now, I think... I don't do face cam and all that because 
Sly Fox Hound never. Oh, and Immortalized HD. Uh, rather, Immortal HD. He he was also another influence. Knobs for life. Knobs for life. I remember the old pop pop tart cat intro he had. Oh man, those were the days. The spooky craft. That's what. All right. That's what's that is that series. If I could talk properly, I'd be really nice. Is what got me to do this series. I'm I'm gonna be dead serious with you. Spooky craft was the deal closer for me to want to do a a uh, Minecraft series. But and I highly recommend you guys look up Immortal HD Spooky Craft. It is hilarious. They're like hour long episodes, and it was only like I want to say 17 maybe, but it's so funny. <laughs> At least as a kid, I found them hilarious. Means they're probably stupid. But uh, regardless, so when I was when I was watching them, almost none of them ever really did uh, face cam. Matter of fact, Immortal HD. I used to know him as thinking Optimus Prime. I think it was like February 2014 when he really showed his face, and maybe even 2013. I think actually, yeah. And nowadays, you got like all these people uh, who are not nothing like the people I'm used to when I was starting. So when I started my YouTube channel, I didn't really know what to do. Uh, and I'm actually, uh, this is always why I'm so I'm just going to get this off my chest. It's almost like that episode of Spongebob where, he, uh, uh, I want to say Patrick rips a squid off his chest. Not rips, like he takes a squid off his chest. Like I want to get it off my chest. Was that Spongebob? No, I think it was Spongebob. Uh, I digress. I don't have ADD, I swear. Or ADHD, I swear to you, I don't have it. But, um, there, there was an episode where he rips it off and I feel like I'm doing that right now because there was a time where I had to do my intro, but I just couldn't. I don't remember what it was. I was nervous, I think. So I had one of my friends do it for me, and that that felt like the worst feeling. <clears throat> the feeling to have your friend do your intro for you. Because it's your channel. The people are there for you. And to have them do your intro, it's like, I, sh I should have been able to do it. Now, granted, that was when I was really starting out. Like I'm talking like maybe three months after I started. But back in 2012, I didn't have a name for my... For the, not my, I'm sorry, I keep saying that. I, I'm i sick, forgive me. But, I didn't have a name for this subscriber base, and I wanted something that showed people that trolls don't matter, that people are going to be idiots regardless of where you go, who you see, who they are, what they're like, what gender, race, whatever else. They're going to be jerks and idiots and trolls. So when I was playing, sorry about that, so when... My fr when my friend wanted to uh, jump into never-ending series with me, uh, I, which would be Corey or Dancing Taco 911, um, I <laughs> said, all right, sure. So he made a joke saying, actually, I want to probably show you right here. He made a joke saying, I, I'm not caring, none, uh, none a care were given that a day or something like that. Like he purposely said it weird. And he said, like, I, I want to say, like, right over there by that giant dirt tower, which is actually really... We literally spawned on top of the end, because that's where we spawned when we first created this world. And when we... Uh, when we, we found this biome, we were like, oh, wow, okay, that's awesome, and we were all excited. And he said, no cares are given. And he said that as he was being chased by a skeleton. And I was like, none cares. And then he had knobs. He had the homies for Sly Fox. I started thinking he had the creatures... I was like, well, you know, I, I want to be, I want to be like a family, but I don't want to be like a, a, a business. So the crew, and I thought, well, NCC, like, it just didn't feel right. It felt almost too smooth to me. So I said NCK, NCK, and, and then, you know, like if you say NCK, 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 it sounds like you're like sounding like a dubstep hard beat, like, you know, do, do, NCK, 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 I don't know. But so uh, when I was younger and I did that three years ago, back when I was dumb, I, I said, hey, how about non-caring crew, NCK? And of course, non-caring had a hyphen in it, so even then it was a little weird. But that lasted up to like, I want to say a month ago, <laughs> maybe two months ago. And that started all with Corey. So really, I have a lot to thank Corey for, because he's the one who motivated me to do a Minecraft series. He's a, the, a big reason as to why I record a lot of the Zombies videos, which are what really got me starting to do a lot more videos. And, um, when I created the term NCK, non current crew, it just felt right to me, but it felt off at the same time. Like, it, there was something really harsh about that, non caring crew. The message was supposed to be, we don't care about trolls, we don't care about haters, and that sort of thing, but it, it felt it came out as, we don't care about anything, we're jerk, well, not we're jerks, but like, we're rough and tough, and we don't care, and, you know, we're gonna go over there. 
and it just felt off to me, that, which is why I, that's literally the only reason why I changed it from non-caring crew to noble crusading knights, because now it's, the noble crusading knights, if you're a part of this channel, if you're a part of this, uh, family, um, you, you're a, you're a knight, you're a knight who is on a crusade, and it's a very noble crusade, the crusade is to, um, for lack of better words, spread wellness across the internet in a sense, which sounds weird, I know, but, like, the idea I have about it is, when you go to a channel, say Jacksepticeye, you don't even have to be subscribed to it, call yourself part of NCK, as long as you are a nice person, and you go to another channel, you see a hater, just don't respond, like, just deal with it the right way, you know, don't, don't respond, don't feed into the hate, don't, you know, respond with more hate, don't feed fire with fire, just ignore it, you know, and just, if somebody's having a tough time, help them through it. Just be a nice person, you know? And if you do at least one of those things, or if you try to be a good person and you generally try, as far as I'm concerned, you're part of the NCK. You're a noble crusade knight. You're a knight in shining armor who is doing this noble crusade, and you're doing something extremely honorable. And it's... That's the idea I have about this channel. That's what I want this channel to grow into. Um, a lot of times, I'll mention some of my videos that... I watch Jacksepticeye a lot, and it's true, I do. But he's actually a really good example for me to strive for a community, the NCK. Because his subscriber base, seriously, if you haven't seen his subscriber base, his comments, very, very rarely will you see an issue going on in the comments. Like, it's just chock full of good people. And you're talking about somebody, Jacksepticeye has like millions and millions of subscribers and hundreds of thousands of comments a day. And the fact that people are still so civil... Just because of like the direction he's put in in front of them, and people take it and they put it in the right way, like it's so it's so awesome to see that. And that's what I want for this community. I want this community, the NCK, to be a respected, respectful, uh, honorable, noble community. I want us to be nice across wherever we go, whatever site we go to, whatever channel we go to. I want us to be nice people and want us to be to be caring and to be noble in a sense and to be the knight in shining armor for people when they're down now that doesn't mean that whenever you see somebody in a tough time if it's like a minor thing don't you know you don't have to if you don't want to go out there and say oh i'll be immediately you know just like if it's a stranger you don't have to do it i'm just saying when you see somebody constantly getting attacked step in and like try to guide the person in the right direction and <laughs> that's honestly what I want for this community. I want it to be the NZK, the Noble Crusading Knights. Uh, I want the knights of this channel to be on a Noble Crusade. And I always say that, and I always remember, the Crusade is never running, because it's a never running crusade. This Noble Knight thing, it's it's never fading. I need to move my control so it doesn't uh, go dark. This Noble Crusade that we're on will never end, regardless of whether YouTube is here or not in a year, in ten years, and in in, even in a thousand years. He, as long as humanity is around... There will be, in my opinion, there will be a quest, there will be a crusade for people to be noble knights, regardless of whether in shining armor or not, and just be good people, be nice people, be those that people look up to and look at as, like, almost heroes in a sense, but not heroes. Like, you shouldn't be doing this to feel better about yourself, you should do it because you want to do it, you know? So if you, if you subscribe to this channel, I... I will consider you an NC, a member of the NCK, and, uh, like, if you just do those things regularly, I mean, if you want to subscribe to the channel, great, I really appreciate it. I really do, like, I, I used to take for granted subscribers, but in recent, uh, in, like, the past year, I realized that behind each number is a person, and the fact that over a hundred and, over a hundred people are willing to watch me. Even if it is only, like, five views per video, the fact that they gave me a slot in their subscriber, uh, subscriber page is just so, it's humbling, to, to say in a sense. And, um, you shouldn't be doing this stuff to feel better about yourself. You shouldn't be doing this stuff to kind of make you into this hero. You should be doing it because you want to do it. Now... I say that, and I also want to say that I never saw this as a hobby. And I feel bad saying, because now I've grown, I've learned. But when I first started, I was younger, and I was kind of naive. I don't know, I was naive, 
And I thought, well, I see Sly Fox here making a, a living out of it. I see a moral issue here making a, a living out of it. And I just want to make a living out of it. So when I started, I figured, all right, I'm going to get in there. I'm going to get in there and record videos. I'm going to make a living off this. It's going to be my livelihood. People are going to love me. And I started to get depressed when people wouldn't pay attention to me. And I was thinking, well, what's going on? Why? Where's my views? And I've always tried to be a good person. And about a year and a half ago to two years ago, I realized it's not about me. <laughs> and I I hate saying, because it makes it sound like I still think that way. I don't. I don't think that way at all. I don't think that it's about me. I used to, like, because I was younger when I started this three years ago. But it's not. I, I realize now it's not about me. It's not about, you know how well the channel is doing. It's not about any of that. It's about the fact that I would want to do this because I find it fun. I want to do this because I want to do this. And I do this for you guys. And that's what it boils down to. If you guys weren't watching these videos, like if I was getting zero views constantly on this channel, there would be no reason for me to go and upload videos. And that's how it feels sometimes even still, I'm going to be honest. But, like, if you guys didn't watch these there wouldn't be much of a point. And I would just start playing video games again just for recreational activity. But the fact that you guys give me support and motivate me by watching the videos, sometimes you comment, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm not, I'm not choking up. That was, I'm sick. I've been talking for like the past hour. Um, the fact that you guys sometimes comment, the fact that you guys some, uh, give a like, or rather you do comment. I can't say sometimes, even though it is sometimes. I mean, I can't blame you guys. The fact that you guys comment, the fact that you guys give likes, the fact that you guys subscribe, you give your time to me and watch my videos, I want to give back to you. And I realize that now, and I realize that this isn't, this was, this was never about me. I may have thought it was, but this was never about me. It's about you guys. It's about you guys getting entertainment. And I, I can't, I'm not going to make this into a job. I mean, uh, just uh, fact checking this, I have 130, uh, I think 148, 138. I don't know. I can't look at the. Uh, statistics right now, but I have, like, just over 100 subscribers. Like, I mean, reality check, that's not gonna get you a new job, you know? Like, I mean, if I want to make this a new job, I gotta get I mean, I gotta get professional editing, I gotta get a better sense of humor, I gotta get all this stuff. That's not me. Like, I don't want to make this anymore into a job. I want to make this into a big thing for people to gather around and I think that Mark Pyre said it best and again, I, I, I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm copying these bigger YouTubers, but th these are things I just, I'm starting to kind of base my YouTube career on. Mark Plyer has said on multiple occasions, he wants his channel, and this is how I want mine, to feel as if when you guys watch a video, we're on this couch, and we're like all hundred of us, and in his case, millions of his, uh, his fans and him, are just on this giant couch of the world, and just watch him play this game. And they have fun together. That's how I want my channel to feel. That's how I want my community to feel. And that's what I strive for it to feel. To make it feel for you guys. To feel like we're just we're going to sit down together on this couch. And we're going to watch this video together. We're going to have a good time. And when it's done, we'll go on. And we'll see what comes out tomorrow. You know? And that's what I wanted to feel like. Not, alright, got to make this video. Got to make it good. Got to get this out. Got to get videos out a certain amount of day. Stuff like that. I don't want it to feel like that anymore. I used to, but I don't want it to feel like that. I just, I want it to feel natural. I want it to feel comforting to you guys. And, I mean, it, it seems a bit weird because I know usually I, well, I know almost always I never do this. I never go on a giant spiel that goes on for almost 20 minutes about my past. But like, I've always thought of YouTube as a ha um, I shouldn't say that. I've always thought of YouTube as a side thing to keep me preoccupied when times are rough. And as time has gone on, I've realized that if I'm serious about having a community, if I'm serious about creating a great area for everybody to get together, I shouldn't be neglecting it. Uh, I know that recently I haven't been uploading videos I, I suffered an injury in October, and that's taken up so much time, and that's it's something out of my control. Um, I Between my everyday life, which I can't really talk about because it's my personal life, but I mean, the stuff I have to do every day, that takes up so much time. And just in general, like, where I'm at right now, I have so much going on that I can't 
record every day. I can't upload every day. And I feel awful for that because I've made this community and I've for I've helped forge it. No, I, I've made the structure for this community. I've helped forge this community into what it is today. And thankfully, it is a respectable, <coughs> rather, it is a, yeah, it's a respectable, it's a very honorable community we have right now. Uh, it's not that big, so, I mean, it's not like you can go on a random video and see 50,000 comments, you know? It's not like you can go on a random video and see even, like, 10 comments. Like, it's, I'm not going to get a whole lot of comments every video. I'm not even, I'm, I'm lucky if I get at least, like, one, maybe even three comments a video. Um, but that doesn't bother me. It What I care about is making that person, you, right now, you, the person hearing me, the person listening to me, all I care about is you having a good time watching my videos and listening to me and just being happy when you watch it. Because I know what it's like to have a tough time in just kind of everyday life, I suppose, and then to go home or to stay home or to watch over Wi-Fi or 4G or whatever. I know what it's like to, when you're down in the dumps, just throw on YouTube, throw on a YouTuber that you like, and watch it, and just distract your mind from everyday life. Distract your mind from everything going on right now, and just focus on the current state of, like, comfort that you feel when you're watching this person. And just, like, the humor, if there's any, or the seriousness, if there's any, or, like, that sort of stuff. That's what I want for you. That's what I want to give you. And I feel like recently I've been getting better with that, but I'm still not there yet. And I don't think I'll ever be there. Like, I don't think I'll ever be at the the state that Jacked Up Guy is at. And I, I don't, I'm not saying that, like, trying to sound humble. I literally mean, and I honestly, hand, like, hand Boy Scout promise. I don't even know if that's still a thing. I don't even know if I said that right. I've never been a Boy Scout, I swear. Um, I will never reach where Jacked Up Guy is at. And I know they say, well... You know, don't never say never, but I mean, honestly, with everything going on, with what I'm doing, with how it's going, it's, I, I cannot, maybe it will, but I personally cannot see it happening. And that sounds depressing, but it's not. It's really not, because it's like, would you rather be the manager of Walmart, or would you rather be the manager of a local town uh, company that everybody in town loves, but nobody outside of town knows about? You know what I mean? Like, Walmart, local. Walmart, local. And, lo loco. <laughs> um, local. And for me, right now, I'm at the local. And I think because of my current status, I don't think I'm ever going to get out of loco. Local. But I don't think that's an issue. I really don't. I don't see it as an issue. I see it almost as a good thing, almost. Because that means I have less to... I have less pressure on me. I have less uh, expectations of myself. And at the same time, I also really like it because that means that there's less chance for you guys getting upset by somebody else who is a hater and just randomly coming in here because we're so local, in a sense. Um, and I, that's why I care about. I care about you, how you feel. I care about how you're doing. That's why I, and I always ask, I hope you guys have a wonderful day because it's true. I never say that just to sound nice. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I really do because if you're having a wonderful day – then I hope I can make it better by having this video up for you and you watching it. Like, I hope I can make it, this day for you, at least somewhat enjoyable, you know? Even if it's not. Even if it's, like, the worst day ever and you hate everything, you hate anything and everything that you see, you touch, you feel. I just hope that I can be there to, for you to watch and just sit down, enjoy. And then at the end, afterwards, yeah, sure, you still feel crappy, but feel, I don't know, you feel like at peace a bit more, and at least now you can go to sleep without your mind buzzing everywhere, because I know what that's like as well, and that's what I want, I want you to feel comfortable, and the less people there are that pay attention to this channel, the less news attention it gets, which is absolutely zero by the way, um, the less chance it is that you feel uncomfortable, now at the same time, that doesn't mean that I want to stay local forever, I wouldn't mind if by some miracle of a chance, my subscriber base randomly goes from one or a hundred to like a thousand or something. You know, I wouldn't mind that at all. Trust me, I would not mind that at all. But I'm not going to sit here and complain. Ugh, you know, I have 130 subscribers. I got five views for the last 50 videos. I got, ugh, I got one comment in the last three videos. It's, ugh, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Because as long as you feel happy, as long as you feel comfortable, I feel comfortable. I feel happy, and I'm not doing it to make myself feel better. Like I said, I'm doing it for you. 
And as long as I know that you're doing well, I'm just going to keep making videos. I'm going to keep making videos, keep making them the way I make them. And if people don't like that, you can move on like Jacksepticeye or Markiplier or PewDiePie or someone else. Um, it's just, it's like a preference thing. And if I'm not your preference, that's fine with me. And I want you to feel comfortable. So if I'm not your preference, please leave my channel and go find somebody you're really comfortable watching. Like PewDiePie, perhaps. Like I personally, I'm not a huge fan of PewDiePie, but I respect him a lot. He's a great guy. I know that for a fact. And I, if you don't like my stuff, you like his, please, by all means, go watch his stuff. You can unsubscribe from me. It doesn't affect me because A, is not a job. B, this is really a hobby for me. And C, I do this for you. And if what makes you feel the best is not watching me, then don't watch me. If I do this for you, I want you to feel great. So go feel great at his channel if that's what you feel great at. You don't, I'm, I don't want you to feel obligated to watch my stuff. And I, I know that that sounds like a terrible thing if I, like earlier, I said, oh yeah, I, I, why am I going to get myself voice? Yeah, I said I would love to get that subscriber. It's true. But, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and have a thousand unhappy subscribers who just are constantly against each other and against me. I refuse to do that. And if that's going to happen, I'm going to start doing what Jacksepticeye does, where he makes videos regarding the comment section, the people and stuff, and the people he wa that watch him and help guide them in the right way. I will start doing that if I have to. But I would rather have a hundred happy people than a thousand unhappy haters just making everybody feel bad. I, I, I would much rather have local than Walmart. That's just how I feel. And whether or not you agree with me, I respect your opinion, and uh, I absolutely think you're entitled to your own opinion. Um, and I know uh, I was going to say that I know it sounds like a terrible thing to say in a sense of trying to get more subscribers because normally the ideal, I think, is that uh, you should just want you should just want subscribers across the way. But I feel like that's no way to do YouTube. I don't feel like that's a way that you should plan on having a YouTube career. If you're going to have subscribers, try to guide them in the right way. If you're going to have a lot of subscribers, at least make sure you're doing all you can to make them happy, to feel safe, comfortable, and just great in general. Um, so, anyways, I feel like that's that's about that. And um, I don't know. if I feel like I wanted to say this stuff for like two years now. Oh, I feel so nice to get it off my chest. I feel like a weight has been lifted, seriously. Um, but I feel like this would have been the perfect time to say it on the 500th video, three years later. Uh, 100 episodes later on Christmas Day. <laughs> Hopefully Christmas Day. Maybe Christmas Eve at this point. I don't know. This is going to be a long video, so I'm going to just wing it with uh, uploading because of the rendering and stuff. I don't know. But anyways, guys. <sighs> it's going to do it for me. Uh, if you watched this far, down in the comments, uh, type in... Oh, what should I have to type in? Type in... I want something with the color purple. Type in the phrase, a purple raptor ate my purple shoe a purple raptor ate my purple shoe and so if you made it to this point and you heard everything i said type in the comment section below a purple raptor ate my purple shoe a purple raptor ate my purple shoe i feel like i can make that into a rhyme like a song or something yeah um and if you made it to this far guys uh thank you so much i just i'm sorry if you didn't agree with what i said uh well I mean, I'm not, I'm sorry that, no, I take back the sorry. You should, you should be, you can't, my brother recently said to me, because I have a brother, um, be sorry for what you say, but don't be sorry for what you mean. And granted, he said that kind of in a joking manner, but it does have some, to have some truth for, to, behind it. Uh, so, uh, thank you guys so much for listening to me. Uh, I'm glad I was able to get all of that stuff off my chest and kind of say what I was thinking. And, uh, that's about it. That that really is about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button. It shows your support. Gets me motivated. Makes me want to do more stuff. And uh, like I said, in the comment section, go at it. Have fun. The comment section is yours. I will reply. To, I've always tried my best to reply to comments, and that will never change as, far, as long as I do YouTube. And um, like I said, if you made it to this point, a purple raptor ate my purple shoe. Just let me know that there are people out there who listen to my stuff. Uh, 
But if you didn't listen to me, then I am talking to absolutely no one right now. Or at least I'm not talking to the person that isn't listening to me right now. So, hello, person that, that didn't hear me. Uh, <coughs> I'm turning into a fool right now. Fool. Uh, anyways, guys. So, as always, like I said, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button. Uh, purple, a purple raptor ate my purple shoe if you made it this far. And always remember that the crusade is never ending. Take care, guys. And goodbye.